up everybody, Coach Stuby here. Today I'm going to be taking you through how we would coach the hand clean high pull-up performance course. This exercise or this hand clean derivative is going to be a great way to help your athletes conceptualize the bar path and that it should stay tight to our body with our elbows stacked over our wrists for as long as we can before we transition into that aggressive front rack punch position. As well as it's going to teach our athletes how to displace the bar maximally with minimal bar speed loss, meaning we don't want to see the bar slow down at the hip and then speed up again to the shoulders. We're trying to continue that vertical momentum for as long as we can. Now, I understand that some people like to bash this exercise as they like to say that there's not necessarily a high pull component into the clean and that it's more of pulling yourself under the bar, which we would agree with, but it's more important to understand why you would utilize an exercise rather than being married to a particular exercise or being anti an exercise just because you can't coach it. It's another tool that you can add to the toolbox and hopefully this is gonna be a resource that you can use to help clean things up with your athletes. How we would coach this is we want feet straight under our frame. I wanna take a thumbs width grip outside of my thigh, grip tight with my knuckles down, eyes straight forward, eyes on the horizon is a cue that we'll use. I wanna make sure my shoulders are slotted back, and I wanna lift up and walk myself out. Again, same thing, feet straight under my frame. I want my big toe pressed to the ground to lift the arch. I wanna have a soft knee bend with my shoulders stacked over my hips and my head straight forward. From there, I'm gonna think shoulders back, okay, knuckles down, and then pulling the bar into my pocket so I can get my lats engaged, keeping the bar tied to my body. From there, I'll hip hinge, train doesn't leave the track, meaning the bar doesn't leave my thigh, and my shoulders cover the bar, and I will control down all the way to the top of the knee. Rep one, I'll show you a three second eccentric, and then I'll show you an isometric pause at the top of the knee, just so you guys can see the tempos that you can use. From here again, soft knee bend, brace, knuckles down, hinge, train doesn't leave the tracks, two, three, big aggressive high pull to the top. Okay, here we go again, I'll go three seconds again. One, two, three, big aggressive pull, try to pull the bar through your chin, try to knock yourself out. Okay, again, now we're gonna go two second iso, soft knee bend, hip hinge, covering the bar. One, two, big aggressive pull, going again, pulling tight. Hip hinge, two second pause, big aggressive pull. Again, one thing to understand is that the bar doesn't have to get all the way to the chin. Whenever you get into those heavier intensities, the bar path may only brush the shirt or brush the belly. Again, is we're just trying to make sure that we're getting extension and continuing to finish that pull all the way up to the top. So if you guys haven't already, give this exercise a try. Comment and let us know what you think. Until next time, thanks guys. Thank you.